The Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, says he's open to having talks with the opposition concerning the crime situation in the country. The Prime Minister says the continuing rise in crime is of concern to everyone, but he hopes that those currently making public pleas to his government are genuine and aren't merely using this as a tool to score political points. Peter Christopher reports. On Wednesday, opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bissessa sent a letter to the Prime Minister requesting an urgent meeting in relation to the high level of violent crime in recent weeks. At the post-cabinet press briefing, the Prime Minister said he had not yet seen the letter, but he was willing to collaborate with the opposition. When we were in the opposition, we went to the government and we offered our support. And today I'm hearing that the current opposition is wanting to meet with the Prime Minister and the government. I welcome that. And I hope out of it will come the collaboration that is required to allow us, not just us, the government, but us as a people, to treat with crime outside of the attempts of scoring political points. The Prime Minister also responded to calls from the President of the Downtown Owners and Merchants Association, Gregory Abood, for him to take charge of the National Security Council. The Prime Minister said the National Security Council had been working despite the suggestion that their silence meant inactivity. I mean, nobody in this country is comfortable seeing a nine-year-old being gunned down in Trinidad and Tobago because criminals have taken action of resulting in that kind of outcome. But to say that because, you know, the National Security Council has not mention this last meeting means that there's no taking charge. I think that's a mis misrepresentation. Dr. Rowley explained that the council, for example, had learned that the face recognition scanner at the Piaco International Airport had been deliberately sabotaged. He, however, would not divulge the status of that investigation. The Prime Minister also lamented the slow pace of selecting a commissioner of police, but said that remained out of his hands. He said the Police Service Commission was still in the process of selecting a new commissioner. Peter Christopher, CNews.